Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Um, I've been doing a bit more base building since the last episode. I've now finished enclosing this area. I've installed some doors so when a storm comes along, I can close them up and seal this area off. Um, so I've put some stairs down here so I can gain access outside without uh, too many problems. I have done a similar thing. Oh, oops, I sealed that bit off there, by the way. So now you've got to go around this way, and you've got to go outside if you want to access that. See that door over there. Um, yeah, I sealed this bit off. I think I showed you that last time. I put flooring down. I put a cover down for that IC. Um, I have, I'll go through that in a minute. I've created an IC to control this, which I'll cover in greater detail in a moment. Um, I haven't really done a lot with this, I'm honest, since the last session. Um, it, I'm not really mining ices yet because I've got Amy set up, so I've had no real urgency to get the rest of the silos set up, but I do need to do that. Um, what else has happened? Um, I've been running out of power a couple of times, so even though I've got all these batteries and things over here, yeah, these four big batteries here, or these four batteries here, I subsequently, subsequently created a big station battery. So these ones, I believe, hold 3.6 megawatts, and I think it's 9.1 megawatts. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit of power. I um, Oops, too far. I've added a couple of more solar panels, but I am going to have to add, add some more. I just simply don't have enough power now to run everything. Um, yeah, currently creating 7.4, 7.5 uh, kilowatts. Um, Batteries are charging slowly, but not quick enough. So, um, have I got any coal on me? No, I do. Let me just split that in half. Dump it in there. I just want to make sure I don't run out of power again. Um, so, some changes from last time, or some updates from last time. Um, one of the things is, is the painting. So, I've been using these paint cans for painting quite successfully. There's no issue with them. However, they have added, I don't know when, it was a while ago, a paint gun, a spray gun. It's in your tool manufacturer, there it is, and it takes uh, steel, invar, and silicon. Um, I have made one, have I got it on me? Where is it? I haven't got it on me, have I left it over here? No, it's definitely not there. Um, no. I must have left it inside. Let me go inside. I know, I'm a dirty boy. I need a wash. Oh, yeah, I put some flooring down in here. So this is just um, cladding. It's not the grating like outside. It's just cladding. And I made it green just to try and make it feel a bit, I don't know, happier. <laughs> I don't know if that's worked or not. Um, yeah, it's cladding like that. Oh, what have I done with that spray gun? I've got no idea where I stuck that spray gun. No, that's all my food. It's food. I put it in there by mistake. No. Oh yeah, and there's something else I'll go over in a moment as well. Um, oh, but it's in there, isn't it? There it is. Had it on me the whole time. Um, so let's just grab some yellow paint. So if I want to spray something yellow, so I've got 94% at the moment, I'll spray that. That's taken 5% of the can. Spray another one, that's another 5%. However, if you, oh, I've already got a yellow in there. Let's put the green in there. Green's at 64. If you use a spray gun, so paint them to cost me 10% of the can. Turn this on. Paint them to 64. It's still 64. Costs hardly anything to spray with the spray gun. So if you want to spray lots of things, use a spray gun. It'll save you a lot of paint. Paint's not expensive, it's just a hassle having to create all the cans and then them hanging around until you recycle them. 
So yes, the spray gun is a, an addition. I was aware of it, but I'd never really used it. I'd not used it, so somebody mentioned it to me. Thank you for that. I thought I'd show that. Um, in here, so as you know, we've been getting showers and things, which I need to do in a moment. In fact, let me just do that now while I'm talking. Let's close all these down, see if there's anywhere. No, I'm going to have to... Um, I can see I've got quite a bit of gold on me. <laughs> I've been mining. Um, let's get some of these in here and I'll stick the rest in the cupboard. So yeah, uh, we've been showering quite regularly to make sure we stay clean, keeps our mood up, um, and gives us some bonuses. You can hear that noise, that's that, just turned off in a minute. Um, and the water, it's clean water, comes through there, through the shower, out of the shower, into here, which is our dirty tank. You can see there's only 0 0.2 litres in there now. That's because this is a water purifier, and it takes, if I hover over it, charcoal. Now charcoal, you stick it in there and set it going, and it'll make, I think it's probably done it all. Set it run through. I'll come back in a minute. So charcoal, the way to get charcoal is you need to take, oh my, <laughs> first of all you need to put some clothes on. <laughs> I'm not running around naked. <laughs> oh. That helps. Don't want to go outside naked. It'll not last very long. Yeah, the way you get charcoal is you take um, some uh, biomass, which is any of this. So let's see what's got the worst condition on it. Uh, I've got plenty of rice. There's only three rice there. Yeah, let's just take the rice, the wheat, sorry, for now. Um, you take that. And you have to go to your recycler. Just check my helmet closed. I've now moved my helmet up here. And my tool belt down here, just to make things easy for me. That's something that jumps back over the other side, but I don't know why. So you take your biomass, and then you go to your... Um, recycler and centrifuge. Um, let me just come on, jump up, 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 up. Let's empty that out first. Let's bear with me that empties out. An experiment I did to stick some dirty ore through the recycler, uh, through the uh, this centrifuge, just to see how long it took. And it's way too slow. That's why you need that centrifuge. So just in case you didn't know that one, this one will do the same job as that one. It will take dirty ore and turn it into um, normal ores. But its speed is too slow. It won't even keep up with one um, heavy miner, uh, deep miner. Never mind two. Where that one just happily chug along looking after two. Um, did I cover the programming for that last time? I don't think I did. Uh, I need to show you the programming for that as well. Is that you know? That's empty and speed is zero. Close that. You turned on. Turn the recycler on. So back to biomass and charcoal. So you take your biomass, whatever it may be, in this case wheat, stick it through your recycler. That spits it out as uh, a reagent mix which goes into your um, centrifuge. As you see, this one, to, oh, I need to do something quickly. Ba, 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 ba. Let's take that off. I don't want the bits disappearing down that hole. They the will just get spat out at the end, which is quicker. Grab them here. So let them run through the, the, the centrifuge. It'll just take a moment or two. It's got to wind back up to 100 RPM. So there's one biomass. Just said the two go, the others go through. There's only three of them in there, it'll not take long. Okay, so we're just finishing off our third biomass. As soon as that's done, there we go. Pop that, that'll just flash an error. And now we just need the weight of it popping out this side. And there we go. I had to quickly grab that there before I went to the other one. We've now got our biomass, so I can be closed. That we turned off, I'm not using it at the moment. So then you take your 
the biomass and you come up to your furnace make sure your furnace turned on it's got some temperature in it and you throw your biomass through your furnace and that comes out as charcoal there we go it's as simple as that it's not difficult um that's off that's on that's right and then the charcoal can be used in your water filter now they are talking about adding other facilities that need so turn that off as you can see we had 23 in there so 26 just leave them in there there's no dirty water in there it's all been turned back into clean water for my plants and to get a wash in um what else was i going to cover I covered that last time i've talked about that um programming oh you can come down programming of my centrifuge that's probably a good one to talk about so i have now set up my centrifuge my combustion centrifuge that is with an ic as you can see here um that i'll probably have to pull the chip no, no not that one what we laptop that one oh no i can load it actually i saved it open edit oh it is this is a program in here already so now what happens is i've written a program the cc is just combustion centrifuge uh, i declare that as an alias as an item against d1 which is just uh, the pin on the chip i make sure it is turned off then i go through a set of phase which just pause for half a second open the output of the centrifuge set the combustion limiter and the throttle limiter which is two levers to zero um, check how many re reagents are in there the reagents are the uh, refined ores if they're greater than zero just run through this bit again there's no reagents left in there so it's empty in other words um, then check that the stress is down to zero because obviously you don't try and sort of when the stress is high um, and then closes the output and then go to rpm which is basically starting up our um, centrifuge so load the rpm i don't really need this i'm honest yeah so this is checking that the the, the centrifuge is stopped that's what it is sorry apologies um so again just wait half a second load the speed that's rotating the rpm of the centrifuge if it's greater than zero loop through until it stops then jump to startup this is the startup process which takes us through the stage startup of the centrifuge um, i could probably just condense this into a couple of lines a couple of loops but i've got enough lines here i don't need to worry about it so what i do is turn the centrifuge on and if you set the throttle to 10 percent and the combustion limit to 10 percent um, load the rpm setting um, if the rpm is less than 250 jump back to startup so let's run through this and the rpm reaches at least 250 what's above 250 Turn the throttle up to 20% and the combustion limit of 20%. Load the RPM, check if it's 280. And it does that then, 280 runs through and it's 280, then 340, then 425, then 470. And if it's greater than 470, that's the um, centrifuge up and running then, flat out pretty much. Then jump to main. This one is checking how many reagents, so how many we find ores are inside the um, combustion centrifuge if they're less than 500 just keep looping through here once you hit 500 go to shutdown and I've, I've picked 500 that could be a thousand but I've just picked 500 uh, shut down wait half a second throttle to zero combustion limit to zero um, turn the system off and then load the RPM and run through this but the RPM is zero once the RPM zero, open the output and then jump to setup. So then it just comes back up here again and runs through the setup. Um, make sure everything's turned off, make sure there's nothing in it, make sure it's speed zero. And once it's empty, it will just start up again. I'll just keep running through that then. Um, basically, oh, come on, come on, why are you picking up? Basically, running up. 
running unless it has 500 reagents in here or ores in here shut down eject them all wait and everything's shut down to zero throttle to zero rpm to zero stress to zero start up and do it all again and it just now continues to do that as long as there's power to it and there's fuel to it it will just carry on doing that and we've got obviously the miners just working away constantly feeding that I now no longer have to worry about this and I now no longer have to really worry about mining because as you can see I've got what 36 stacks of 50 iron what's that 100 uh, 1800 iron uh, this is copper I believe I have 750 copper I have 100 gold that's quite low actually um, I have 150 lead so you can see I, you know this is just all stuff that's coming out of centrifuge and it's now just doing that for me I'm not having to go and mine this so mining is a thing of the past effectively I will have to get a couple of bits if I want the ice I've got to go and mine those but with the goggles sorry the lenses it's not a big issue so that was one of the big updates I made um, if anybody wants a programming for this please let me know and I'll upload it to Steam um, it, it's not difficult it's not the most elegant program but I don't care it works it doesn't need to be fancy I'm not a programmer um, so that's that I tiled through here I think that's everything I made all the changes I made I mean the big thing was also is enclosing all of this just so it's nice and cozy I'm trying to think was there anything else I did do, do, do. what are you at now are you up to pressure you're up to pressure you can go off um, um, um anything else I did oh I had to move my weather station from here to out here because I couldn't have it inside obviously it wouldn't work um I think it's about it I had an extra row of um frames try to think if I've done anything else I don't think I have I think that's it so what I need to work on today is trying to uh yeah you can see my power's going down I need to try and stabilize my power supply so I need more um solar panels I've got space for one only oh, two so I need to get some more frames out here I will be building on a lot of this as well as an upstairs uh, you can see I've actually put these upstairs now outside um that was kind of intentional you know what let's just um dump these ores back into my storage I've got it I might as well use it any more ores on there no let's come down here I could probably move a shoot somewhere a bit easier to get to as well but I don't really need it that much let's dump these in here I don't know why it does sometimes and others. Coal, I'll keep on me. Where'd that go? Did that go in? Did it fall off? I must have gone in. Um, yeah, that's everything in there now. That's oh no, some gold. No, oh, I need to throw that. And that's all that. What have I got in here? That's empty. What I've got in here, your MD. Oh, there's some gold. So that's everything being sorted for me now, and I need to put this back before I forget. Because I will forget, I'm terrible at it. Hydration critical. Okay, okay. Your neck is in twist. Um, I started building walls around here because I'm going to enclose this. Um, just to cut the noise down a bit more if I'm honest it is really noisy in there um, and I will enclose all this eventually as well Satemos and Phobos what was I going to do? Um, 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 oh yeah I can put that down let me just I don't know if this will work either I'm just going to try it I screwed up making some charcoal. I don't know if I can uh, stick it back through the system or not. Um, yeah, let's see what it'll just spit it out at the bottom. Anything that doesn't get, oh no, it won't. Let's stick it in. 
that silo. Okay, so that's that done. Let me close that. You're closed. So yeah, we're getting there. Things are slowly coming together. Um, base is getting a bit bigger. I do need to sort my power though. So what do I need for solar? Tell you what. Oh yeah, something else I did is I put a couple of stackers on these because I was sick of having to run around picking things up when we're flying around all over the place. Um, solar heavy solar panel. Astro alloy. Okay, what do we need for that? We need. Let's come up off the top of my head. Uh, cobalt, steel, and copper. Okay, so let's make 200 grams of steel to begin with. One, two, three. Coal this side. Yeah, I've got uh, I need 2,000 coal, so I'm not going to be short on power. Oh, I know my. Um, I can't run between here anymore, by the way. I blocked it all in. Um, I've got to go around the long way. I'm thinking of moving this as well, but I'm also going to put some um, displays up here. I ran out of cabling when I was doing it. That's a point. Um, uh, no gold. That's what I want gold for. That's why I gold on my hand. I was going to make some more heavy cabling. Oh, on, on. Not that one, that one. Yeah, I was thinking maybe moving this so it was actually facing this way, so that you know I can do all my smelting and things here, rather than have to run around here to do it. Um, turn you on, turn you off, get the temperature up. Need fifty is enough for gold. Oh, get in there. Pull the handle. I know I'm low on water. Right, what we at? Oh, not going to get hot enough for steel. Um, no, it's not going to quick enough. Uh, okay, what's the temperature? Six degrees. I'm going to. I think it was 10. Oh no! That's two. <laughs> There's another two. It's not the best, most economic way of doing this. There we go. <laughs> right now we're tapping to steel. Um, I'm not much luck today, am I? Is that done yet? Yep. Check that. So I want to put the steel can go there. What else was I needed? Copper and cobalt. So I want a hundred each of those. Too much copper. And there's a cobalt. All right. What temperature do we need for? One to one hundred thirty is case. It's high pressure, high temperature. Mm. 
when I put steel. Okay, so I do need some more fuel in there. Ten. Five, I should do it. So it's forty. Why aren't you going up? Oh, it's still processing the steel. I'm huffing and puffing now because uh, I am out of water. There we go. Shut that down. Check that. Go in there for a minute. Actually, you can go straight in there. Let's go and get some water. Okay, some of the things I want to quickly show you while I'm doing this, I suppose. Um, now I'm in here, I can open my helmet. Um, I have put in a water fountain, so rather than having to keep pulling these bottles off here, I can take a drink from there. Uh, but what I want to do first is get some fries I picked up, uh, I made earlier. Eat those. And I don't know if you noticed or not. Uh, let me close this. The stars above the burger went to four now, so that means I get a massive boost to hydration. So I'll now take a drink. Keep glubbing away, come on. Big old drink, this one. I now have 175% hydration. And you can check what you're going to get from the foods by actually looking at them. Um, let's go to the, the oven. Let's just look at the oven in here, sorry. Um, oven, if you look at the oven, uh, it tells you what you can make in there. So French fries, click on that. Uh, quality best, plus 75 is hydration capacity. So that gives you, if you eat enough of these, it will give you a 75% bo uh, boost. Um, Things like um, the cooked tomatoes don't give you anything. Just general cooked doesn't give you anything. They need to be... Um, see, just general baked potato doesn't give you anything. They need to be um, a more processed food. So like bread gives you 75. Um, these are just the things you can cook in there. Um, chocolate cereal bar gives you 25. Cereal bar gives you 25. So these things do help with your hydration level. So I've gained a big bonus from eating those fries. And as somebody rightly pointed out, I wasn't aware of this at the time, by the way. This is some, a, a change I didn't pick up on. Those fries, to get that bonus, are, are quite cheap. They are simply five oil and one potato. So split one. Actually, I'm going to take two. I'll do two lots of fries. I need ten. Oh, no, ten, not eleven. So, first of all, I need to make the oil. Ten oil, turn that on. Oh, come on, take the oil, turn you off. You can go in there, you can go in there, you can go on. Like we had french fries picked, I hit the wrong button. One. Two. Okay, and they can now just go back in my fridge for storage. Right, anyway. So that's another change, that uh, something else I want to make you aware of. When you're eating foods, if you look at the number of stars above the burger icon, that tells you how much of a bonus you get for hydration as a result of it. I think it's only 25% or 75%. I don't think I've seen anything that's 150 or 50% bonus. Um, yeah, okay. Um, done that. Close lock. What was I doing? There's something else I just want to show you. I've still got these on me, I need to put those away. There we go.
Right, I've got my helmet shut and everything, haven't I? Yes. Did shut the fridge, did I? I think so. Um, right. I thought I made some heavy cables, so obviously I didn't hit go. Not being very successful today, am I? <laughs> Display, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, don't need that. I will take that and show you something with that in a second. So while that's making cables, I want to show you something. Um, go through the door tops. Uh, so if you take a cable, this is a pipe, an uninsulated pipe. One of the recent changes it, it, they've made is that you can now insulate um, an uninsulated pipe. What you need to do is you need to print some uh, adhesive insulation. That's done on the pipe bender. I believe that's just to check. Uh, yep, there it is. Insulation. Through the door, through the door. Remember to go through the door. And while yeah, you do, you need the wrench in the other hand. You've got to be careful because if you've got the wrench by mistake, you take the pipe out. So with your wrench in your off hand, and the insulation in the active hand, you can then insulate the pipes. I now can't remove insulation, they're permanently insulated. But just let you know that was another change. So you don't have to rip all your piping out again and replace all the insulated piping. You can do it on the fly with just adding insulation. Right, that should have uh, printed enough cables for me. Didn't need that many, but... Um, cables coming down... Oh, I don't know if I can get through that. Mm. Don't think I'm going to be able to do what I want to do there. I'm going to have to bring us around. It's going to look ugly, but there's not much I can do about that. I'm go outside. Probably see what I'm doing better from outside. No, I can't. Um. I'm going to have to take this frame off to see what I'm doing. It's about half my base just to put some cabling in. Right. Didn't do any of the cabling at the top, that's why. Okay. So, because uh, this is all connected to my main um, power bus, I've got to use heavy cabling for this. Uh, let's get these together. doesn't look the best but I can't take it down through the chute. Alright, let's just build you back up. And you and you. And then you can go back up there. Right. Now I need to take the flooring up. Oh, my lights just run out. Always something to do. Alright, oh yeah, that's a bit of cable I haven't put in previously. I can't use that. Um, Oh, shut up, it's not. Like that, like that, like that, right. Now 
now I've got my flower back down. Um, I need ch -ch 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 gas. Turn my torch off. Gas display, two of those. Hash display, one of those. Got a glass here. No. Three glass. And glass. Right. So gas, gas, hash. Glass, 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 turn you on, turn you on, turn you on, and where's my tip wheel? It's in here. Where's my little data disk? There it is. Pressure, advanced furnace, mode temperature, advanced furnace, and let's need advanced furnace on that one. So at the minute there's no pressure and temperature in there, so I've just been blowing everything out. So it's just no pressure, no temperature. As you can see, there's a the pressure, there's a the temperature, just here, look that dial all the time. And if I put something through here, I think I've got some copper on me. It's saying that the copper bar is ready and I can reject that. There we go. It just makes it a bit easier for seeing when things are ready. Okay, so a couple bar don't really need on me. Um, back to what I was doing originally. Um, heavy solar panel. Set that going. I've got enough to build three of those. So I also need some steel frames. I see I'm going 7.6. Well, I'm pulling a lot though. 7.6 kilowatt of power coming in and 4.4 going out. What's drawing all that power? You're probably 350 watts. Your fridge is 300 and something watts. Uh, it's all these, I think. I don't know the power usage of these are. Um, hmm. I shall have to find out. Um, you can go off if you're not doing anything at the moment. You're on about 10 watts each. You're not doing anything. How's the pasture in there? That's pressure in that. That's okay. That's okay. You probably still do a bit of. Um, it's not doing anything. Let's just stick some. No! Thank goodness for that. That was the wrong one. <laughs> that one. Hmm. Odd, what is going on? Am I out of power again already? It can't be, it can't be, it can't be. Uh, yeah, they're flat. I definitely need to get more power input. Oh, he's, no, he's got plenty of power in him. 
you know what, that's just a bit of wasteful coal, but I'll just stick 50 in there. Just give that a big boost. Um, I must not have set the... Have we done one yet? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's plenty of them. Steel sheets. So that's the last kit. Um, power, 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 what you set to 2000 watts, what you set to. Uh, if this is drawn that much power, I'm a bit confused. Hmm. Oh, of course, it's a. Uh, those are on the same network. That's why. And I've just done exactly the same thing I did last time. Crap. Um, so now I have fuel mixed in with my um, oxygen. So let me go and get a Volatiles filter. <sighs> I'm having one of those days. Now I need to go this way. I need to pull you out. I'll put you in. At least that will filter the volatiles through to there. And I've got the wrong card in there. Oh, atmosphere analyzer. Yeah. Balls. Balls. How's that nitrogen filter doing? That's okay. Two point two eight, two point two seven. That will go down. It's not too much. It's only two, two percent. It will slowly filter that out. Um. M M M M M. Sorry, that's my other laptop going mad. I want some pipes, don't I? Let me try grabbing some pipes. Um, you can go in there for the moment. Just grab you. Um. This feedback loop should help. Um, 
with the filtration. Two or nine. Of course, there's nitrogen there. Oh, of course, there is. Of course, there is. I can't do that. Damn, 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 damn. No, I can. That's right, I can. Come in there. That's a filtered output. Point three four nine. Yeah, that's going down. That's going down. But yeah, they're going down. So that will sort out that cock up again. Can't believe I've done that twice now. That's stupid of me. <sighs> anyway, that's that done. Um, <laughs> how much pressure do we have in here? Three megapascals. Deep of okay, that'll do. That's enough to keep this going for a while, anyway. Oh, I can't believe it's a second. I really can't. Oh, here we go. This is just uh, starting down. I should starting back up. So as you can see, the the levers are at the ten percent position. One hits two seventy, two seventy, two eighty maybe. It'll jump up. No, twenty percent position. Yeah, two eighty should jump up. There we go. Now it's 30% position, and it'll just keep doing that, just back up to speed. So that means it just dumped another 500 grams of ore. Right. So, power. Let's go sort our power. I've got plenty of cables on me. I've got plenty of heavy cables on me, I believe. Let me just check. 17 heavy cables. Maybe not enough. Let's go and try. Glass. I've got plenty of glass. Because that is just draining down. Wow. Can't believe how much power I'm pulling. Um, I want it to be the dual one, so only one output, and I want the face towards the base. And same with this one. And I've got one now already. So I need to create another row. And quickly weld them up. Done my final solar panel, like so. Now, cabling, yeah, I'm gonna need more cabling. Um, why cutters? Where my workers? I've just dropped them. I just dropped them. <laughs> oh, I was lucky. Oh, I will have enough for these ones, but I will need some more before I put any more solar panels in. Come on, get away. So I'll just start rotating. Um, glass welder. Okay, so that's another 1.5 kilowatts of power I've just added. Um, I am likely to still need more than that. Yeah, we're definitely running the batteries down. Um, it's a shame the wind doesn't do anything on this. Um, On Mars, unless it's sort of like a 
What am I thinking of? Windy, you know, storm coming. I'm going to do something though. I do have a tall wind generator. I don't know if it's going to do anything or not. Um, I'll stick it in here. If I can find it. Uh, sensor kit, recycler, to shoot. It's not in there. It's not in there. It must be. Oh, door. Use the door. Up here. Or inside my base, one or two. No, it's none of that. So it must be inside. Wind turbine, there we go. Nice way. Up so much space. No, I miss welding one. I miss welding one. Now, well, this. What else do I need? Five cable coils. screwdriver and there we go and I'll just need to tie this in I've got enough power here sorry enough cables here just except I've tied on the wrong side So I'm not going to have enough cables. Yeah, that wasn't the wrong side. The uh, batteries. Cables. Heavy cables. Come on. Probably need about four or five. How much we're going to get? Got plenty. Let's do another one just so I use the half grams. Not deep. All right. There we go. Yeah, see, it's barely turning anyway. But it should pick up when um, a storm comes along, which is quite a bit of power. Power generation. Wow, that's really low. And look, this is producing 496, 497 watts. That's producing nine <laughs> I had it built I thought I was might as well just stick it up hmm. how are we doing nearly flat nearly flat okay 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 
No, I don't need mine now. I've got coal stored. How are we doing out here? Um, oh, down to 1.2 percent and 0.2 percent on nitrogen. So we are getting there. Right, next task. So we have a fuel. The next thing has got to be Amy. I've got to start getting Amy set up. So let's see, what do we need for an Amy bot? <laughs> 